Hello everybody, Treno here, and today we're going to look at a vehicle I've been rather looking forward to be added to War Thunder for quite some time, and that is the Char 2C, which some of you who already watched the channel will know I did predict we would be getting a Char 2C of some sort very soon. Obviously we got the BIS in the last patch, but they did show off a regular Char 2C in the Apex Predators trailer, and the BIS actually had the stats for the Char 2C Normandy, which was a ludicrously up-armoured variant with 90mm frontal armour, but we've actually just got the regular Char 2C. And when I say regular, I don't just mean the regular variant, it is also in the regular tech tree. It is between the Char B1 BIS and the M4A3-105. Now, for those of you who don't know, this wasn't a prototype tank. This was a tank that was designed for World War I and ended up being brought in during the interwar period. And about 10 of these were made. So this was a regular tank, this was not just a one-off prototype. Unfortunately they didn't see any combat during World War II, they were scuttled while being evacuated from advancing German forces because uh, they are somewhat archaic as you can see here. They are essentially a World War I tank and in many ways this is better than the Char 2C BIS and worse at the same time. As you can see here it has a 75mm gun, the 1897 cannon. Now in my previous videos talking about this I assumed it would have very similar performance to the American 1897 gun as on the M3 tank destroyer. It doesn't, that has about 80-90mm to 90 millimeters penetration at 500m, this has about 49mm, which for a 2.7 tank is not very good and based on those superior stats of the American gun I assumed this would be a 2.0, maybe a 2.3 tank, but of course they've put it at 2.7, it's even worse stats than I actually thought it would be. So uh, I'm hoping this is just a placeholder and that it will be down tiered or down battle rated. Indeed, if you go and check its performance against equivalent tanks like the Panzer 3J, Panzer 3L, Panzer 4 F2, they are functionally immune from the front to the uh, gun of the Char 2C, unless you're extremely close range, well within the range where they can start doing damage to you. It's not gonna be the most particularly damaging tank of, on the French side. See here you can look at the Panzer IV F2 and yeah you need to get into about 200 meters and even then it's only penetration is a low possibility not a guarantee whereas the Panzer IV F2's gun can penetrate you from probably a thousand meters away. And talking about the armor it maxes out at about 45 millimeters seems to be more or less uniform for the whole front when they're taking into account the sloping. The turret is officially about 35 millimeters but again with sloping it is about 40 millimeters the cupola is a particular weak spot that is only 22 millimeters so if you get a high explosive shell into there it will go straight in and take out your main turret side armor is only about 22 millimeters which isn't particularly great and the rear is again about 22 millimeters you do have this ditch in tail but it only provides five millimeters of structural steel armor only this bit on the back here is really particularly protected and even then not particularly well and the roof armour is not well protected at all. Any American planes with 50 cows is going to have a field day here. Um, ability is about the same as on the Char 2C BIS. You've got 5 gears forward, 5 gears back. Top speed 9.9 .9 miles per hour either way. And 646 horsepower engines. And you can also see the ludicrous amount of crew. Who actually all have jobs now. Because of course in the Char 2C most of the machine guns were removed. Because this is the regular Char 2C, they are still there. So the machine gunner crew members are actually manning their posts. So you've got, so we've got five machine gunners, four loaders, one main gunner, the commander. Don't know if I've missed anyone else. Oh, of course, the driver. So 12 crew in total. And it's going to be very hard to take out this tank from killing all the crew in one hit. Because, of course, if you get a shell on the back, guys at the front are going to be more or less out of the way. Get a shell on the front, unless you get an ammo rack, the guys at the back are probably going to survive. Albeit with uh, most of your offensive armament now inoperable. And we're going to quickly take this for a test drive, just to show off a few things that you can't show off here in the hangar. Um, also you can see there's lots of smoke coming out of the engines. I don't know if this is a glitch, this seems to be present on all of the tanks at the moment. Now to start off with, we're going to start with the engine turned off, so I can show off the other feature that's been introduced. And has also been introduced to the Char 2C BIS. We turn the engine back on. The stroboscopic cupolas actually rotate as they are supposed to do in real life. Basically they worked on some sort of optical illusion. 
there'd be an inner non-rotating section inside there. You'd see out of armoured glass blocks. And basically when this spun at a certain speed, either the gaps between the vision slits would disappear or they would remain stationary. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. And this was essentially thought to provide protection to the commander while still giving good all-round visibility. Of course, there was still a risk if a bullet went through those slits at the right time. They would, of course, go through and hurt the commander, but obviously they did reduce the risk significantly. Now, we're going to show off the main gun. I've loaded up the APHE because it keeps loading high explosive as default, which is unfortunate. Now, we're just going to aim for the sloped bit of the Panzer II. And as you can see, that has just been blocked. Completely blocked, which, you know, makes sense. This is not a particularly effective gun, but... For a 2.7 tank, it just can't penetrate the sloped parts of a Panzer II reserve tank. If we aim for the flatter armour, and even then it's um, struggling, which is, again, a Panzer II, not particularly great distance. There we go, through the turret. But that took us, what, three, four shots? And it also tells you on the bottom right there what shell you use to destroy the tank, which is pretty good. Now, just waiting for this tank to come back into view. And, yeah, you can see that exhaust is uh, very noticeable. That is going to be... That's going to make quite a bit of difference in realistic and simulator matches, I think. So, yeah, if you want to try and find a tank, just look for the massive amounts of smoke that are coming out of the back. Which may make turning your engine off more of a tactical consideration now. Right, we're going to take a shot. Ah, that one went straight through the slope, thankfully. Now again, long range shot was probably arcing down a little bit, so it was more of a flat angle for the shell. Also, another thing they uh, haven't quite fixed on the Char 2C. This was a problem with the Char 2C bis. You can see inside the tank in the driver view. and uh, You can see the detail of the machine guns. And if I move the turret... Yeah, you can see part of the turret rotating. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that, because that looks like it's going to dock the driver on the head if it keeps rotating. No, that may just be my perception. I possibly is further away than it actually looks. Definitely would go through the machine gunner, I feel. I'm pretty sure that's not what it's supposed to be doing. Also, the machine guns all work, which is good, except for these two side ones. Got one here and one here, which is a shame, but... Oh, um, okay, we're having a bit of a... Visual glitch of the Char 2C there. Okay, looks like going super speed. Um, anyway, as I was about to say, I think the Char 2C is a very good tank, but I think it is at too high a battle rating. This needs to be brought down to 2.0. It's just too high at the moment. Sure, you can destroy tanks with flanking shots and whatnot, but with how slow this tank is and how big it is, there is no way you're going to be able to sneak up on enemies. The only thing it's really got going for it is the huge amount of crew making it very hard to kill. And I'm just not sure that's enough to justify it being at a 2.7. Now, hopefully we will get the Normandy variant of this. I, The Char 2C BIS, when it was added to the dev server, originally had the Char 2C Normandy stats. Which is basically, it was up armoured to like 90mm frontal armour. So, potentially we may get another premium version of this. And I really hope we do. I'm glad we've got this in the regular tree, but like I say, it's just not in a good place at the moment. It needs to be brought down at least 0.3, preferably 0.7 though. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this look at the Char 2C. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.